Hello, I have just watched an article on YouTube with Julie Hanks and it says to worry less about what others think and I have some thoughts on this. Um, with me, and this is what I'd like to say, I am not a, a worrier. I'm not, but I'm more the opposite. I can tend to be like thinking that I'm not good enough or am I good enough? which is a completely different thing, yes I know, but I don't, don't do that. Um, the only person I feel who watches and criticises me is my mum. Uh, my mum and sometimes my sister, not all the time, but sometimes my sister, and um, they are the people in my life who tend to pull me to one side and say um, that I need to think about how my actions look to other people. Um, the biggest thing that both my mom and sister have said for me is I don't want and this is my sister's husband to think badly of me so when I'm just me and I say something or perhaps crack a joke or at times a bad joke, afterwards they tend to come down on me after. And, and tell me, did I not think about his feelings or his thoughts um, because and this is what happened he bought her some roses and he has been with my sister f for a long time and she actually does have hay f fever so I just made a joke at her, twinkle in my eye, and smile on my face and say, are you trying to kill my sister? <laughs> you know. Um, and I thought nothing of it, nothing of it, until the next day. And um, I said, well, nobody found that f funny. Because he was spent X amount of money. And I'm just thinking, well, you know, and so basically, this is what I'm told that I can't be myself around the people who are supposed to know me and understand me um, and if I feel that I can't be myself at all I am going to be really really paranoid I am because I'm not going to feel relaxed you know, and basically, 
best just to say after things like that happen with the example that I've given then comes this talk and it's that I need to think about other people that he might not like you if you get angry or if this happens or if that happens and after excessive of of this off my mom off my sister I did believe them I came into the belief that he doesn't like me I did I came into the belief that that my sister's husband now um doesn't like me and and then I think I was hurt I was hurt. I was really hurt because I had it in my head that he actually didn't like me and then after a time I thought well I can't do anything about it so if he doesn't particularly like me I am going to say what I want and to hell because I thought if he doesn't like me what is the point in getting him to like me or and this is what I eventually was told that he doesn't like me that in actual fact he tends to stick up for me and I'm thinking well I don't know but this is all about all what my mum and my sister have told me over and over again that they don't want me to get angry and they don't want me to do this, this and this. So in actual fact, I did, I came into the belief that he did not like me at all and I th and this is my point that I want to make is if you constantly tell a person that you have to think about this you have to think about this person you have to think about that person and you can't think about you at all it does it sort of get into your head and then you make up a story that's believable you know so in their heads they are thinking that they are helping me and this that and the other but in actual fact I found what they were doing was putting me down because that's how it came across like well I did this wrong and this wrong I can't do anything right I can't be myself so, you know, it does, after a long period, period of time, it does get into your head and you make up a story that's believable to you. Um, and, and, and in my, my family, they have given me a couple of labels that I'm you're the nice one uh, and 
you're the emotional one. Well, actually, how do they want me to act when they've hurt me? Do they, I mean, half the time, if I get angry, it's, it, it's bad because I'm acting up. Or if I get upset, I'm told, well, you're the emotional one. You take things too much, too hard. And, and so at the time, at times, I am at the end of my heather. Um... But in actual fact, me personally, I don't care. I think I am starting to care a little bit less of what both my mum and sister think. I've never cared what other people think of me. I think I did when I was younger and at school, but that's that. But I've grown up since then, and I don't care as much as what I think about other people think of me. If they don't like me, that's what. Then that's what. You know, I can't do nothing about that. But if some or one comes up to me and that's it this is okay that was it i no no, no. also okay i'm going back to my situation here which i have just talked about with my sister and her husband and because i'm thinking well he has a problem with me why can't he come up to me and tell me? Because at the moment, it feels like he's talking behind my back. And I want to go up to him and to confront him. And both my mum and my sister was like, no, no, don't do that. Keep it all hush hushed because he could get in embarrassed and you wouldn't want that so you know he's not being up front about it this was what i was thinking in my head that he doesn't like me he's not gonna tell me but he's gonna talk talk to my sister and tell her all the things that he doesn't particularly like about me and I and what I found out is that wasn't necessarily the case at all it it was what my mom and my sister had drummed repeatedly in to me you know because they wanted me to worry what he thought or because that mom and my sister care too too much and they wanted me to be liked if I can't be myself around someone, then, you know, I mean, I did, I got it in my head that he didn't like me. And then I was hurt about it, and then I was angry, and I just thought, well, sod him, I don't care. I will treat him however I want, how, you know, 
to a point because then if I did things out of line completely then me and my sister would fall out over this as well you know I, I mean I think at the end of the end of the day if someone has a problem with me they can come up to me and they can tell me and I'm not going to take offence if they are not openly cruel to me and they say it how it is I'm not going to take offence I'm actually not in actual fact I'd respect them because and that gives me the chance explaining myself. And then I'll say, oh, you fucking I mean that. No, I did not mean it that way at all. What I meant was this, you know. And so that way I can have an open line of communication and then we can work th things out but they didn't want me to be able to do that with my sister's husband and I think they still don't they all go through each other like um, my sister's husband might say something to my sister and then my sister and mum would talk about how to approach it with me but at the end of it if he could say when you say this this and this I think this could you not do that but it's all hushed 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 I know I can't go and confront him oh I can't do this and oh I can't do that so I think that's how that all came about and it is not to sound harsh or nasty but it is because of my mum and my sister because they tend to worry what other people think of me what uh, Lindsay's husband my sister's husband thinks of me what a family member might think of me but if they know me and if they come to me and say this, this and this and give me the chance to explain myself instead of talking about me behind my back because that's what it feels like for me. So, you know, it's open lines up communication and and being told that I can't come for my sister's husband led to more anger 